It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Hello everyone and welcome to a newly released third person horror game from Bloober Team, the makers of the Layers of Fear games and Blair Witch. This is The Medium. And if you want to find out a little bit more about it, including where you can get it for yourselves, look down below in the description. I'll leave the links and the details all down there. I've got high hopes for this one. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, all right? Here we go. So I'm using a controller. You can use a mouse and keyboard. Let's see. What do we got here? Uh, right. Okay. Oh, we are actually reading this, it looks like. Okay, so the memorial, the funeral, the ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy. Okay. All right. October was a fairly busy month, it looks like. Hmm. Maybe a, an unfortunate month as well. All right. Let's come out of that. Okay. Right, so we can just uh, have a little look around. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me to have a look at, though. Not right now. Let's see. This is kind of giving me Song of Horror vibes, honestly. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like we can go through there, so go on. Hmm. All right. Oh. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you, too. Was that supposed to be a jump scare? The controller did vibrate as I saw the cat. Let's see. 
Okay. Uh, looks like there's various ways to go. Let's go this way. Let's just go room by room, shall we? Let's follow the cat. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. Mm, quite a somber start to the game by the looks of it. Jack was a humble, religious man. Oh yeah? He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. Well, that's good it of you. It felt good to be useful. Hmm. Alright. What about this side? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. Oh yeah. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. <laughs> good for him. Anything else? Ah, there is something down here. What's in the box? Uh, mm. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Oh, is that where it's supposed okay. to be? Let's do this the other way. The other way? You mean the medium way? Inside. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. There you go. An interesting introduction to, I think, just one of her powers. Okay, Jack's tie clip. There you go. So yeah, now we need to get to the funeral home and say goodbye to Jack, it seems. Alright, fair enough. So we've got items. There's memos as well. I guess I'm going to be collecting quite a few of both. Alright. So, yeah. Anything else? Looks like I just need to get to the funeral home. Um, Keep okay. hissing at me. <laughs> Who do you think's going to feed you now? <laughs> right. Was there something on the desk there? Uh, there might have been, actually. Yeah, what we got here? Oh, it's a photo. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. Mm. He kept telling me I was special. Well, I think you are. By all accounts. Anything else? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Looks like there's something here. Alright. Weird to be back in my old room. <laughs> so many memories. Fan of butterflies, are you? Looks like you got quite a few. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. You surprised me. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Okay. What else we got? Looks like there's maybe another frame, another photo. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. No. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. So I take it that Marianne was adopted? Alright. Anything else? Nothing on the desk? No, more butterflies in the corner over there, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I used to get a lot of these. Oh, yeah? To me, they were like trophies. <laughs> Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. <laughs> I like that. Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student. But we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate. Well, they think it's all bullshit. And most of the time it would be, but no, not with me. I think I actually do have the power. My oldest family heirloom. Oh? As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. All right. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. <laughs> I think many of us have been there. Hmm, okay, cool. Alright. Any more personal effects to look through? Doesn't really look like it. Not over here. What about the bed in the corner? Nothing? Nope. Okay, fair enough. Well, that was my bedroom. What else have we got? You know, I, I don't want to leave quite yet. In fact, truth be told, I don't know which door I'd take to leave. Uh, maybe let's try this one? Okay, we got the kitchen. Ah. Oh, an empty cat bowl. No wonder I was getting hissed at. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the cat likes to eat keys. Maybe I can find something else? Something over here by the looks, looks of it. nourishing. Well, it is for someone. There you go. Good stuff. We got the cat food. Alright, so, um, this is set in Poland, if you're wondering. There you go, cat food. Here you go. What's your face? Ah. Glad to see you're still kicking around. That's a very detailed cat. 
It's a good looking game. I'm not playing this on the most max of settings, because apparently one of the negatives of this game is its performance, but it is on the high settings and it does look remarkably good. What's this? Good morning, Krakow! Symbolic funeral with the Sierra Mine, apparently. Okay. I'm just skimming this at the moment. Yeah, I said a few years ago. <laughs> In fact, does the newspaper have a date? Friday, okay, 5th of November, 1999. There you go. What's this? Is that Can't a dark? believe it's all still here. It's a dark room. Oh, Jack. Okay. Looks like there's lots of buildings photographed. What do we got down here? How to develop photos. Illuminate the photo, dip it in the multigrade, then in stop, then in fixer. Okay. Now why is that an option? I mean, I think that is a lot easier to read than that. But maybe not for some people. <laughs> okay, so is it multigrade, stop, fixer? Or is it the other way around? All right. I think we're actually going to be doing this. This might be the game's first puzzle for us. Oh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. There's meant to be something on this. Just looks like a sheet of A4 to me. But okay, let's try it, shall we? So the photo paper would go there. And then uh, we illuminate it for five seconds. Have we got to be that specific? Three, four... Five. So is that okay? Illuminated photo, I suppose so. All right, fantastic. So, yeah. Um, doesn't actually tell me which one is which. Um, maybe, you know, instead of going from left to right, we're going from right to left. So maybe this is the multigrade. It's been a while since I've actually done this. I did it in college a couple of times, but that was about it. Uh, so let's put that in. One, two... Three. Okay, that was multigrade apparently. Fantastic. Uh, doesn't look too different, although we are getting a bit of an image. Looks like a, a, a portrait. Alright. So let's see. If, maybe this is stop again for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, a water bathed photo. It. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that was left in a little bit too long or not long enough, but okay. Let's just run with it. So another three seconds in the fixer, right? That's the last photo I took of you, Jack. There you go. Shit. Not bad. It actually came out a lot clearer than I thought it would. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. Well, that was pretty cool. Anything else? No, it seems like that is the last photo. Alright. Well, if there's nothing else in the room, I suppose I should just leave. I see the cat's eaten. Um, so, what else we got? A couple of doors. This one's open already. Ah, the bathroom, right. 1984, perfect. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I've always loved that cover. Well, let's see, anything here? Ah, <gasps> nothing down the toilet. I had high hopes for this game. I'm somewhat disappointed. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess this is how we leave. Yeah? We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. Alright. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. It probably was. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Yes, your powers. I don't know whether I should tell you guys about them or not. I'm sure you'll find out what they are fairly soon. Down here? Yeah, I, I like this so far. I like the way it looks. I like the way it controls, at least with a controller. That is the advised way of playing. I can't pop into any of these doors, can we? Right, let's just leave. Out into the rain. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. What's this? The last goodbye funeral home. Alright. Seems like we're at the right place. 
Hmm. Okay, oh. This must just be a, a cut through to the other side of the building. Ah, oh, is this it? Yeah, the last goodbye, right? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we probably do want to go there, but I just kind of want to explore. Yeah. Also, maybe I should be using my insight and, and noticing things that other people might not. Like this, maybe. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? No, I think everyone would notice this. I wonder if we can actually pop out the other side of the building. No, I don't think so. Right. I think it's hold left trigger to run, but I guess I'm not really in a running mood right now. Maybe that would be disrespectful. But let's see. We've got to be very specific with this. But we're in. Jack's in the prep room. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. Uh, so, what's this? Does that say? Yeah, prep room, personnel only. Oh, weird. Hmm. I don't remember locking it. Well, someone did. The key should be in the office. Okay. Well, looks like there's something over there to the right. What have we got over here? Is that a waiting room? It's a not important room, apparently. <laughs> Can't have a look at it. Right, well, this will be the office. Nice. Yeah, very nice. How's it going, JC? So what do we got here? Hmm. Adam Nowak, or Novak, probably. Um, yeah, born in Krakow, mother Hannah, father Stanislav. All right. Cause of death, a car accident, embalming, dressing body. Mrs. Novak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne, right. There's an example of me helping out around the place, I suppose. And there you go. There we are. Hmm, all right. Here it is. There you go. That's how we get into the prep room. Anything else? Collection of urns, by the looks of it. Take your pick. Hmm, alright. Doesn't look like there's anything else, so let's pop over to the prep room, shall we? Just across the hallway here. Here we go. Let's try this again. There you go. Hmm. Bit weird that the room was locked. Am I going to find him down here, or is he just going to be mysteriously missing? Let's find out. Okay. So far, so good. Nothing too spooky. <laughs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. You're right. Let's go back and sleep in the bed. No, 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 no. We're going in. We're going in. We're going to have to deal with this at some point. Right, so... What have we got? Okay. Uh, is he in one of those? Is he in one of the lockers? Would that be his suit jacket? Yeah, he's not out on display by the looks of it, so I think he's actually in the, the morgue locker. Right. Here we go. Well, I hope he's in here. He is! Hey, Jack. Out you come, buddy. Or dad, I think I should say. I can't seem to let go. Oh, okay, it's B. <laughs> right. Looking kind of Ben Kingsley-ish. Jack's tie clip. It's not working. Probably because there's no tie! I right! got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Mmm, it's disappeared. Spooky. Let's have a little look around. Is it by the jacket? Doesn't look like it. I wouldn't have left it up. I could have sworn I brought it down already. No, okay, it's probably in here somewhere. Let's just have another little look around. Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. How did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, I got Jack's tie. So we combine it. And there you go. I've attached the clip. Snazzy. 
Yeah. You wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> well, here we go. All right. I didn't expect this to be easy. As it turns out, it was very easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. Hmm. There. I guess you're ready. Good to go. But... Am I? Hmm. Yeah, joking aside, that's... that's gotta suck. Okay. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. What is going on? My control is going mad. Rumbling so vigorously. Alright, here we go. It's a horror game after all. So we've prepared Jack, now we need to check upstairs. What were those noises? No one's around here, right? Can't see anyone or anything, not even with insight. Oh shiz. Uh hi there. Hey, no. Alright, hang on. Come back, Shadow Man. Okay, up here. It's quite eerie, quite creepy. I'm wondering if it's Jack, actually. Oh boy. Oh, someone's gone into his office. Oh, fucking hell, alright, hang on. What's going on in there? Can we? Yep, it's not locked up. What the hell? Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. Someone's ransacked the place. Jeez. Guess you felt it too, huh? <laughs> oh no, one of the urns! And then it happened. Oh. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh. Oh. We've split. Oh, where is that darn notebook? <laughs> I'm gonna be late. It is Jack. Marianne? Oh. Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? Nice mask. I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Joe, where is that shh, 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 shh. Huh? It's okay. okay. My sweet little Marianne, <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. 
I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Quite a touching moment there, in both the real world and the spirit world. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. It didn't. Ask Haley Joel Osment. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. Mm. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. <laughs> Lucky you. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. No. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust I don't trust him. I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Hmm. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. That's one hell of a phone call. So, the Neva Resort. What are you going to do, Marianne?
<laughs> Next stop, Neneva Resort, I presume. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Hmm. I wonder why. I'm sure we'll find out. Maybe it's to do with how I got my powers. Maybe he's like me. like a nice place. <laughs> Not exactly what I think of when I the think of Neva resort. Workers resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Hmm. All right, get through the gate. Is that going to be easy or not? Probably not, right? Let's see. Oh, what is that? Looks like a padlock to me. It is. The front gate was locked up tight. Hmm. Okay. Need to find another way in. Right. Doesn't look like I can actually choose an item either, so I guess I'm not going to find a key. Uh, hang on, let's see. Over here? Alright. Uh, through the graffiti, I can kind of see a, a layer of the land. I can kind of see the area. Alright. Cool. Looks like a fairly big place. Um, well, that looks like this is like a security office or something like that. Let's check this out, shall we? Maybe I can find something in there. Anyone home? I guess not. I guess not. What we got down here, though? What's that? Uh, oh, it's a, it's a postcard. The groundskeeper's postcards. Okay. Neva says hello. Oh, here we are. Neva says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. Alright. Cool. Looks like that's going to be the first of many we find. Anything else? Nothing else in the suitcase. Wow, what's this? What the? Ooh. Hello? Who's that? Thomas? Maybe. Hmm. Honestly, it kind of looks like a wandering soul. A, a dead man, maybe. I suppose we'll find out. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, are we just, like, hopping through broken windows or something? No, we're not going to be doing that? All right. Uh, there's nothing else. Oh, hang on. Can I go... Can I go around here? Looks like I can. Hey, here we go. Alright. Ooh. On top of the dumpster? Over the wall? Is that what you're thinking? I couldn't do it over the gate because Why there were spikes. Out, <laughs> I think so. But not for long. They're gonna have to do better than that. Absolutely. Where did that guy go? Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Right. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. Huh. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Oh yeah, the usual. Especially for games like these. Right. Yeah, not the most accessible place right now. Uh, down here? Okay. Now, why would Thomas want to meet with me here? Hmm. Do I have a connection with this place? Does he? This might seem like a silly question, but is he dead? Oh. must get that a lot. <laughs> okay, insight. 
Oh, yes. Hello. Hello indeed. Look, we're, we're following footprints by the looks of it. Okay, yeah, you can only see them with insight. Looks like a, a child's bare footprints. Right, well, let's follow them, shall we? Through the forest. A la Blair Witch. <laughs> Alright. There's quite a few of them. Little tippy taps all the way up this hill. Yeah, this is a really good looking game, actually. Even on, you know, high settings and not the max settings. What's this? TNK 1968. And a handprint by the looks of it. Maybe this means something to the, the spirit? Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's keep going, shall we? This way to the resort, maybe. Over here? Alright. Uh, are we going to the right here, or...? No, nope, no, nope, there you go, another handprint over there. You just about see it. Alright. There's another set. Oh, look at this. Huh. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Maybe, maybe. Although I'd hate to think that you just missed the very obvious entrance just off screen. Okay. Are we still getting, uh... We're still getting little footprints by the looks of it, yep. Alright, well, before we go in, let's just check out these tunnels if we can. No, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> Not that one, anyway. Uh, something to the left? Ah, yes. No. <laughs> Damn. Me and getting my hopes up. Um, right. So, yeah. Let's see. Where am I being taken? Wait, what does this say? What? Due to the recently unearthed remains... Oh, it had to happen to me, didn't it? Renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Okay, alright. There's going to be some spirits down here. Something happened here. Oh, I bet. But what? Well, let's go in and find out. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really into this. If you're really into this and you want to see a part two, let me know, like the video, give me a comment down below, alright? Okay, oh. Oh, is it happening again? Oh, shit. There the you go. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I huh. guess I was there to listen. Right. Okay. Now, I do understand if people are complaining about performance drops when it does something like this, because I'm playing as two separate characters here, two different two different rendered worlds, you know? I get it. Um, looks like it's still performing pretty well. Okay, I don't know which one to look at, honestly. The, uh, the spirit world or the, the real world to the left? Looks like there was something over here. Right. Uh, are, we, are we climbing up? Yep. Seems to be what the Y button does. Alright. Um, hang on. Looks like there's something over here. A or X? Which one? Or well, let's maybe try the Spirit World one. And see that it's... Covered in something. This world looks pretty cool, actually. It's just like desolation all around. Okay, so... Oh, it's not called the real world. It's called the material world, Dead. it seems. Like everything else in this place. It's a dead fuse. <laughs> of course it's a fucking fuse. Okay, alright. Uh, something to the right. Um, possibly. Possibly. What we got here? It's only in the spirit world, it seems. It's a drawing. Someone new. <laughs> it's an eerie drawing. Okay. Right. Is that a drawing of me, by any chance? Could have been. Spirit world me, anyway. Alright, uh, what about the left side? I don't really fancy going straight on right now, because that looks like death. Yeah, this is cool, though. I like this. This is uh, an interesting kind of gimmick. I hope it's more than just a the gimmick, though. felt old and soaked in misery. 
Nice. Figures, you go around. I guess. Ah, yes. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Oh, yeah? Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. That's what it's doing here? Waiting for someone to embrace it. Well, it looks like Spirit World Me can, so Spirit World Me will. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Hmm. So, what's going on with your left arm there? It looks like you've got some coral growing on it. And now it's all lit up. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if there's anything else for me to do here. Can I use it again? I wonder, is this how we save? I'm really not sure. I really like the look of that on the right, though. That's really cool. Okay. Let's, let's head back. And please don't fall. It doesn't really matter which world. Just don't fall. <laughs> All right. I hope that you're well aware that any areas are now going to take me twice as long to explore. <laughs> My eyes are going to be darting back and forth across this monitor so much. This is really quite clever, though. Yeah, I like this. In any case... I figured I could use it. You could use it? Energy's energy. Right? Right. Well, hang on, hang on. Press and hold RT to charge a spirit blast. Let go to unleash. Okay, well... Is it something to do with the fuse? Let go. Oh. Whoa. So, that worked. Oh? Good for you, Marianne. Wait, These so ha hold on. powers of mine... That as powered the fuse. As much of a pain in the ass as they were... <laughs> They did come in handy sometimes. Well, there you go. Nice. Very clever. Okay, so maybe we do actually have to go this way. I think that actually maybe unlocked the gate. So, I can only go through in the material world. The real world. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. That's not subtle, is it? Holy shit. Well, we made it through. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Hmm. Still following the footprints by the looks of it. Up here? Yep. Uh, maybe I'm going to get led to the day room, possibly, that we'd read about. A fire hazard? Oh, boy. Okay. Up the hill? Still no sight of this place, although it did have a, a lot of forest around it, based on the maps. Wait, what was I looking at there? Is it the footprints? Oh, it's like my, my eyes are focusing elsewhere sometimes. But I can't really tell to what specifically. Oh, left or right? Let's go right. Oh, damn. Oh, what happened to you? Have you ever seen Bambi? Hmm. Okay. My insight gives me no insight. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's go up the hill this way. Following this path. Still got some footprints. I'd make a really, really good tracker. Alright, so... This way, eh? Okay. Cool camera angles as well. This is a this is a good looking game. Oh, oh, look at that. Is that it? That's the actual Neva resort. Well, we're at the right place. Whoa. What happened here? What the hell are you, Neva? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. The aura in that place. Yeah. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. 
It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Hmm. Still a fair few footprints to follow. Looks like we're going straight towards the building. Cool. Yeah, alright. I have a feeling I'm going to love this game. I will. <laughs> and it's going to spook me as well. Get inside the hotel. Alright, well, yeah, that's a good first step. Oh, hang on. The phone's ringing? Yeah, is it for me? Is it Thomas? Wait, there's a... There's an echo. Oh, there it is. I'm here. No, there's definitely something. Trust me. You made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. What's that about? Listening through a telephone that isn't actually connected. Okay. Even the objects here had auras. Huh. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Oh. Let's keep tracking this child, shall we? Up here? Okay. Right, should we just waltz on in? Looks like that's what they did. Ah. Locked. Hello? Anybody in there? I bet there is. Whether they're alive or dead, though, that's another question. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Looks like there is. Right over there. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, so I'm kind of going my own way now. Oh, hang on. What's this? Something up here? Can I... Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. I think there's a broken window up there. Oh, right. If only I could reach it. Oh, so are we going through a broken window in this game? <laughs> Maybe I was wrong earlier. All right. So, let's see. Oh shit! Ah. Handle's missing. And I've Maybe got nothing. I could replace it with something. Well, I've got nothing. I guess I need to find something. And what's this? Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Good point. Good point. I uh, I see where this is going, but we do need to get this door open. <laughs> sadness huh? is giggling. What? Right. Is it sadness that I'm following? Huh, alright. Wait, is there an opening there? Can I go around? Looks like there's some more dumpsters, actually, or skips, really. Hmm. To be honest, it looks like maybe I could jump on top of one of them and then maybe onto the roof, but I guess I want that dumpster, that specific dumpster to the right. What we got over here? What am I going to find? I mean, this place is in ruins. Maybe I am just going to find, a, you know, just a spare door handle lying on the floor. Okay, it doesn't really look like we can go any further that way. Again, insight isn't very insightful. There is something over here, though. What is that? Okay, it's about the Neva Resort. Let's have a read, shall we? Summer of 1969, inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers' Party, comrade Vladislav uh, Gomulka, honoured Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Neva Resort, the new centre of the socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge area are comfortable yet simple, as simple are socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager and a committed party member, Mr. Uh, Rekovic, without whom the Neva Resort would be impossible to design, construct and build. Well, there you go. Hmm. But still, what happened here? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of stories to tell. There's probably a lot of spirits residing here. Okay, so... In the car park? Anything? There's a car. Just hey, the one, I think. Old timer. <laughs> now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Another chalk butterfly as well. Maybe I should look out for those. Maybe they signify where I can use things. Anyway. Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Oh, yeah. Is that another postcard? It is. 
Yeah, another one of the groundskeeper's postcards. Okay, so honest work, apparently. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills, and you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Uh, Mr. Rekovich said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. Mm. But you were living out of a car. Well, maybe you didn't used to. What's this? Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk? Well, you just went ahead and did it anyway. Anything in the back seat? No. <laughs> I half expected to find the groundskeeper, but no. Alright. Oh, th there is something there. Let's open it up. Not much here. Oh, but there is. Although, ah. this could come in handy. Could this double up as the handle? Could you stick that in, give it a twist? Would that work? In theory, it would. Oh. Ow! Shit! <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. What was that? Was that me? Or was that someone else? Well, let's keep going around the area. Maybe I'm going to find something else. Again, I'm looking for butterfly. Hey, look, look. There you go. There's a butterfly right there. Can I do something here? Something with the light, maybe? Hmm. Well, maybe I can't right now. Maybe I can later. They seem to have some significance. What about that as well? Again, just drawn in chalk. Alright. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What have we got down here? I, I wasn't aware that this area was so big. Is that all blocked off? It looks like it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, maybe there is something down here on this lower level. Oh yeah, look, look, something on the bench. All right. Broad horizons. All right. Earth 2, my goodness. New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones, the future of communication. Global eradication of smallpox. <laughs> the greatest medical achievement of our times. Nice. Right, so time to see if this works. Just the screwdriver. Yeah, that's it. And we're so in. began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> well, there it is. That's the one I want, right? I should be able to push it just straight out, but... Anything else in here? Mm, not a great deal. Nah, it's just... It's just the bin store. And we're going to use one of them. Right. Here we go. Oh, God. She's really going to regret this when she sees that the lock's on one of the I'm wheels. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. <laughs> Already? We've you just started. better be worth it. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Right. A little bit more. There you go. That'll do. And up we go. Okay, we're making some progress now. We're going to get into the hotel. made it in. Now, what secrets lie inside? We're going to find out next time in part two. Thank you very much for watching this part. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a like, and I'll see you next time. I used to have a thing for him. You surprised me. You know, I don't want to leave quite yet. In fact, truth be told, I don't know which door I'd take to leave. Now, why is that an option? I mean, I think that is a lot easier to read than that. <gasps> Nothing down the toilet. I had high hopes for this game. Also, maybe I should be using my insight and, and noticing things that other people might not. Like this, maybe. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? No, I think everyone would notice this. What have we got over here? Is that a waiting room? It's a not important room, apparently. <laughs> not sure if I'm ready for this. You're right. Let's go back and sleep in the bed. No, 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 no. We're going in. I can't seem to let go. Oh, okay, it's B. <laughs>
The sign said it's closed. <gasps> what is going on? My controller is going mad. Oh, shiz. But it didn't make things any easier. It didn't. Ask Kaylee Joel Osment. I, could... I need you to trust me. Trust I don't trust him. Hmm. Looks like a nice place. <laughs> Not exactly what I think of when I the think of resort. Work what the? Ooh. Hello? Who's that? Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Oh yeah, the usual. Especially for games like these. Might be my way in. Maybe, maybe. Although I'd hate to think that you just missed the very obvious entrance just off screen. Due to the recently unearthed remains. Oh, it had to happen to me, didn't it? Oh, is it happening again? Oh shit. It's a dead fuse. <laughs> of course it's a fucking fuse. And please don't fall. It doesn't really matter which world, just don't fall. <laughs> I hope that you're well aware that any areas are now going to take me twice as long to explore. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. That's not subtle, is it? Holy shit. My insight gives me no insight. Whoa. Holy shit. I have a feeling I'm going to love this game. I, whoa. <laughs> and it's going to spook me. Anybody in there? I bet there is. Whether they're alive or dead, though, that's another question. Hmm. But still, what happened here? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of stories to tell. Oh. Ow! Shit! <laughs> She's really gonna regret this when she sees that the lock's on one of the I'm wheels. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. <laughs> Already? We've you just started. better be worth it. Oh, I'm sure it will be. 